Welcome back to Make It Mental, everybody. Well, I got my 5mm inside diameter shaft mounted on my new Red Cat Racing brushless motor that they're now sold out of. Evidently, this motor was for a 1 8th scale vehicle, or maybe even 1 5th. I, I, I forget the name of it. Uh, I, I want to say, like, uh, uh, never mind. I, I'll, I'll be lying regardless what name I say, I say it came out of, but. It's a like it's a large scale vehicle, like one eighth or bigger. So that being said, all I did, I didn't use any complicated math to set this pinion gear. I just used a straight edge, right? Basically line it up against there. Kind of be harder to do one-handed. Made sure that the cans were nice. And I knew this pinion gear when it sat on this motor, it sat flush on this pinion gear right here. I did was I, again I just eyeballed it I put it up here and dropped it down and then I set my pinion gear on the new Red Cat racing motor and I just kind of laid it there I did look, put a little bit of flux after cleaning everything right you want to clean everything nice and clean a little bit of flux on then I set my pinion gear where I thought it should be applied heat to the tip right here applied my solder to this area the idea is when the heat transfers through here, the solder melts and it flows up. And I did deburr the pinion gear a little bit here at the tip to create a, kind of a puddle weld, I guess if you would call it. But as you can see, it didn't quite make it all the way around. I don't know if that's because it's off center a little bit, but it feels real smooth. I mean. I don't know, I didn't, when I set it on there dry, I didn't feel any rocking motion at all. So, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe it was a bad chemical reaction of some sort. But it feels, it feels plenty strong. Plus, I mean, it's not going to see hardly any stress at all right here. The biggest stress on a gear train is going to be right here between this plastic gear and this plastic gear and I think I might try and make a casting of this using some aluminum powder and epoxy I don't know I, but I think I'd like to have more than one of these before I destroy it I'm not sure how that's gonna work but I do want to attempt that but in all I am fairly happy as you can tell the shaft on a Red Cat racing motor is longer maybe harder to uh, to appreciate that until you go like this I mean, it's a little bit longer so I'm gonna have to trim some of it down I tried drilling out the transmission down inside there you can kind of see a hole there in the center I tried drilling that out but whatever metal they make these gears out of man that's some hard hard stuff right there I tell you what that is hard I got some Drill bits are specifically designed to cut metal, and I don't know, I have no idea what the heck that stuff is. It is some sort of hardened steel. I tell you what, that is hard. The drill bit just squeak, 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 no matter how slow, no matter how fast. It just was well, not doing anything. I get, so I give up on it. So I think what I'm going to do is when I got time, is I'm just going to hook my brushless motor up to. ESC and then I'm gonna grind this down to probably about three millimeters just so it can slide inside that hole right there so the purpose of the carrier bearing at least for this particular drill is because this shaft it can float around a little bit so that's the purpose of the carrier bearing is just to keep it steady it doesn't matter if it's at an angle or one either it's going to rotate at that angle it's almost like a u-joint it's going to rotate at that constant angle so if you get it off a little bit it's okay the carrier bearing is just there to keep it so it doesn't move all around on you until you get a nice constant gear mesh so other than that i think everything is looking good i hope you guys are enjoying this little uh, build and though I wasn't planning on doing this but kind of happened I guess after I'm done completing this I'm gonna go ahead and dig up my backyard or part of my backyard and make a pathway from my back patio to this storage building here and at the very end of my storage building this is approximately 55 feet which for a 124 scale drag car 
it happens to be about approximate then I'll have to make a a break zone or some sort of catch net or something I don't know but so I'll probably di be digging that up here sometime shortly and getting that ready leveled out and whatnot all right y'all have a good night and good day whatever it is for you